Hey everyone, Sam Cinelli, HM Fencing. Welcome back to YKNS Armory. Uh, today, a little bit on a wiring jig I use when I'm wiring up a foil and epi blade. Um, over the years I've been doing this, I developed a technique where I will uh, test the wires out for weight and shim, and also if they're intact before I lay the glue down. Because uh, I found if I don't do that, if I lay the glue down, then the wire is bad. I didn't know about it, I gotta waste time. Uh, cleaning the glue off, rewiring it. If I'm at a tournament, I can't do that. I gotta make sure it's ready to go before I lay the glue down. So what I came up with was this rig. It's a regular Favero three pin end. The other side, I've got three connectors. I've got the A line, the B line, and the C line. So let me take that apart and show what it looks like inside and show how it works. Stand by. Okay, so here's the rig. Uh, we have um, the, ins the uh, clips are insulated by tape or heat shrink that way if they're touching each other while the wire is connected it won't short so let's take it apart real quick by the way these little these little holes here are ones i drilled into it in case i can you tighten the screws up i've yet to do that that's probably why i didn't do the one over the uh, c line so here's the inside we have the a line it is connected to the black clip the B line which is always the hot line of foil is the red clip and the C line is to the alligator clip so when I'm testing a, a, a blade wire after I pull everything through I will in the case of foil I'll clip it to the clip the uh, wire to this for stripping it off properly clip it to that and then clip this to the blade that forces a BC connection the light will fire uh, and then I can do the normal tests to see if it's gonna lift the weight properly and if it works properly, I can go ahead and start pulling it out and start gluing it up together, you know, gluing everything down. If it's doing FA, I will clip, after stripping the ends of the wires, I'll clip it to both of those clips, obviously one wire to each, and then push the tip down and that will fire the light, or not fire the light, I can do the tip adjustment or whatever. Clip this to the blade, and what that does is if it's grounding, I'll get a ground light on my test box so I know it's not gonna fire properly because it's grounding out. Um, it's me very well. Uh, you can do this with a full box like I've got. You can also do a simple go no go box as long as you understand which light is which, and you'll see if it, if the bunk, fu box is functioning properly, just like you were, had a fully assembled weapon, and you can verify if it works, and then put the glue down. And as always, happy armor.